Back in the day, voice control was like... And this was the first dashboard. Our first interface was a stick, came with the invention of the car, and turned into steering wheels like this, or this. Dashboards became design icons. Steering wheels became status... Wait, joysticks? Your car lets you sing along to your Durands. So sorry you had to buy it all again on CD. That's it. We gave you controls, screens, buttons, early mobile phones, and then Bluetooth. Look, no hands. We made the dashboard hold your coffee or your popcorn. Things moved fast. We put the whole world on your display. Today, our cars go electric. And now, you can talk to your ride again. Hey, Mercedes. What can I do for you? Yeah, Mercedes. Awesome. I hope uh, everyone can hear me. Tim, can you hear me still? Yes, it's working. And you, you can see my screen as well, right? Sure, we can. Awesome. Then we just go ahead. And uh, so, yeah, um, hey, all again. Welcome to our session. Really glad to be here. And uh, actually, it was a great transition from Dominic um, because everyone wonders nowadays, right, what the future might bring. And this could be just about general market conditions or the future of a specific industry or technology, um, such as voice tech. This is why we're all here, right? So to answer the question, it is often wise to first take a look at history and the past to estimate where the road might take us. And this is why in the next 15 minutes, we want to summarize the evolution of in-car voice assistance by giving you the detailed example of its development within the most historic car brand there is Mercedes-Benz. We will talk about the important milestones for voice assistant within Mercedes before in the end jumping into an actual car. The highlight of the session will be a demo of our voice capabilities in the current S-Class. Um, and we hope that this gives you some inspiration and also a glimpse into possible features uh, and futures for automotive voice assistant. So this is what we want you to get out of the session. Voice tech actually has been in cars for a long time, as Dominic also said. And we will show you how that came into play with the entire history. Then we show you what native in-car voice tech looks like, specifically today from within an S-Class. And then later in the breakout sessions, we would love to brainstorm with you on how the future of in-car voice assistance might look like. And Hannah actually will be sitting in a car, so we, we, we can also try out some things uh, and so on. But before we get started, let us quickly introduce ourselves. So I have the pleasure to present with Hannah today. Hannah, if you want to say a few words. Thank you, Robert. Um, I'm Hannah, and I'm located in Sindelfing and responsible for our in-house developed cloud domains. Yeah, and thanks, Hannah. And, and my name is Robert. Um, I've been with Mercedes for more than six years now, and I'm working as a software engineer out of Silicon Valley. And my focus, as you probably guessed it, is on voice technology and the Hey Mercedes Assistant in particular. So to recap a little bit, also from the video, where did we come from? Let us venture back a little bit in history. You know that a lot of people are calling today's voice assistant a revolution in tech, so to say. So it's interesting to see the parallels with the historic revolution, such as the automobile. And our story actually starts in 1886. And I know this is literally yeah, a, a complete lifetime ago. And in the picture here, you can see Gottlieb Daimler with his son driving the first car ever built. And back then, voice technology obviously wasn't a huge thing, as there was no infotainment system, as you can see, or even navigation for that matter. And I know that was pretty much in the beginning of the video, but since it was pretty fast, I wanted to emphasize on where we're coming from. And in the video, it's kind of funny. They, they say uh, that the horse basically was the first voice assistant, right? By saying, yeah, and you go faster. Um, basically something to yell at while you're driving. So with the first car you can see here now in the picture, it is technically a step back in terms of voice control. It's all you could do now is yell at the engineers during the construction of the vehicle. So when did we come back to actual voice technology? It took another 110 years to really start slowly with another revolution, the real digital scalable voice tech for cars. So let's move forward to 1996. And in 1996, voice has been introduced in a car for the first time ever. 
And it all started in Paris with the Mercedes concept F200 car you can see here in the picture. And I, I still remember the moment I saw the car for the first time, looking at pictures without an actual steering wheel. Maybe you see it here in the, in the picture as well. But what really stood out was the voiceability in this vehicle, reminding me of popular TV shows back in the days like Knight Rider. And a lot of people also got reminded voice in the car really makes sense. As you're doing something else with your hands and still want some assistance on the side, be it navigation or in the case of the show car, mobile phone use cases. So in 1996, we were actually uh, the first car with voice control system in production with a system called Linguatronic and has been introduced in the S-Class in 1996 with support for mobile phone use cases, which later then got extended with other use cases as well, like navigation. However, voice remained pretty much a voice control system at this point in time, rather than an actual assistant. And people did need to know kind of like the specific commands which work for the system. So there was almost no natural language in that sense. So let's make another jump to introduce natural language. Fast forward to 2018. That is, and if you recap, 132 years after the first car and 22 years after the first voice integration. And in 2018, we introduced a system called MUX, which stands for Mercedes-Benz User Experience. And the system itself is equipped with a lot of state-of-the-art technology like touch control, machine learning, uh, prediction algorithms, and a great GPU for 3D rendered maps. But one of the greatest highlights is the Hey Mercedes Voice Assistant. Uh, it helps you navigating, controlling your car functionality, or even answering questions like what's the weather. It also gives your car personality as it's one of the first systems integrated natively in the vehicle, which is smart enough for chit chat queries as well. For example, you can just say, hey, Mercedes, take me home, and the car will just do that. Thanks also to our, our partners from Soundon and Serens, who are both giving a talk today as well, Johan and, and Mike. And we actually also integrated what three words as a navigation uh, uh, engine in there, so you could actually navigate to what three words places, and you will get a presentation by Tom later today as well. So in 2018, it officially wasn't all about voice commands in the car anymore. It was more about having an actual assistant, which you can also um, address by just using the trigger word and talking to your car like, hey, Mercedes. And the system would understand complex queries. And as, as users also got used to, right, even 2018, which is like three years ago, um, people were already used to having Siri, Alexa, the Google Assistant, right? So they all have been really popular. So it just was a logical consequence of introducing such capabilities in the car as well. However, that was just the beginning. Um, now, three years later, hey, Mercedes is even more powerful. Um, MBUX now is constantly evolving and the newest version can be seen in our latest addition to the family in our flagship. Remember, we introduced the first voice uh, uh, capabilities in 1996 with an S-Class and now we're here with an S-Class again. And I'm not going to get into too much detail here as we get an actual demo from, from Hannah in the session later. Just a couple of things I want to highlight in the newest version. There's an increased focus on personalization. By using biometric authentication to identify users, we are able to provide more personalized experience, including individual speech interactions. There are also augmented reality capabilities to, for example, project navigation errors directly on the road and therefore achieve less driver distraction. And another highlight definitely is the ability to differentiate between all the passengers in the car and allow for rear seat entertainment, also backed up by voice. There are also more and more multimodality opportunities thanks to more and more sensors in the car, detecting, for example, your gaze or from which seat your a specific voice query has been issued. Now, having all of that in mind, let's get over to the demo part and to Hannah to actually show us how this looks like in a car. Cool, Robert, thank you for this cool presentation. Um, as you see, probably I'm already in a car. The demo today I've prepared for you, but nevertheless, I would like to mention that of course in the future, we would also be happy to show you all our features in real life. But um, yeah, let's get started with our demo now. That's the moment where I'm playing the video, right? <laughs> yes. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lovely. So let's let's get into it. Cool, thank you. Thank you, Robert, for handing over to me. As you can see, I'm already sitting. 
Oh. Thank you, Robert, for handing over to me. As you can see, I'm already sitting Sorry, in a car guys. and it's not just a car. It's our all new released S-Class. And let's just have a look around and also check out our back seats. Pretty impressive, right? But today it's not about the cool interior design, but more of our technical side and the uh, MBUX entertainment system with its next generation voice assistant. As Robert has already been talking about horses today. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Make a horse sound. <laughs> We brought them back into our cars. But don't worry, we are also having some more serious use cases with us today. Let's get started. Robert earlier mentioned that the first voice assistant was introduced in 1996. Back then, you really had to learn the commands you want to use. Today, the system learns from us. Hey Mercedes? How may I help you? I'm cold. I'm increasing the temperature to 22 degrees. Thank you. You're welcome. As you could see, the system changed the temperature only for my seat. That's pretty cool, right? Because this function and all of our voice assistant functions can be used from each seat in the car. So also from the back seats. What I personally use every morning is checking the traffic at work. So I just go inside the car and say, drive me to work. Calculating route. And maybe you have noticed that I didn't have to say hey Mercedes. For some of our most common use cases, we implemented that, so it's just simply and easy. Let's also try out another use case and check the weather at work. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? How's the weather at work? Currently it is clear in Bablingen with a temperature of 11 degrees. In the evening it will be clear with a low of zero and a high of six degrees. I've shown you so far might already be known to you but now I'm showing you something more sophisticated and a pretty cool feature smart home domain and this one also fits really well to my morning routine hey Mercedes how may I help you did I forget to turn off the lights at home let me check it out for you right now all lights are on do you want me to turn them off oh yes please Let's do it. I'll turn off your light. Next to our smart home domain, we've also recently launched Travel Knowledge. This feature is really useful when you're riding along the way and see interesting buildings and you want to know more about it. Let's check it out. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? What's that building on the right? I found these prominent buildings on the right. Which one should I select? Number two. This factory is called Mercedes-Benz Condensator. It has a rating of 5 stars. What would you like to do now? As you can imagine, the new S-Class has so many cool and new car functions, which we made also accessible via speech, so you can even steer them. And one of my favorite design parts here is actually the rooftop, and let's just open it via voice. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Open the roof. I'm opening the sunroof. Unfortunately, this one isn't my car and I actually have to give it back later. And I have to refill it first. But in this car, I have no idea for where the gas cap is and how to refill it. So, hey Mercedes. How can I help? Where is the gas cap? The filler cap is located on the right hand side of the vehicle underneath the filler flap. First. Unlock your vehicle and then press on the rear area of the flap in order to open it. Okay, cool. Now I know how to do it and see you later in the breakout sessions. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? You're awesome. Thank you. You're great too. All right. Thanks so much for the demo, Hannah. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that, that our factory actually has a five-star rating. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, 
on a normal conference, right, we would just like hopefully be around that vehicle and give you guys a, a live demo. Um, however, this is obviously not not possible, and we also want to say thanks everyone for for keeping the distance and uh, also for for people like Dominic and Tim to organize these sessions. Uh, and again, just to recap, short uh, history of Mercedes-Benz and voice tech in within Mercedes, all the way to like where are we right now with the S class. And yeah, we would we would love to try out a couple of things. As you can see, Anna is still in the car uh, in in the breakout sessions and. Uh, dream a little bit with you later. And with that, uh, I think I can hand over to, to Johan from Serens.